Hi, my name is Mike from the Drunken Goblin website, and today I want to go through what plans we have for the Drunken Goblin uh, YouTube channel. Um, in the next few weeks, we hope to be running the Dragon Age adventure, A Dalish Curse, from the first set of the um, Dragon Age RPG. Um, we're going to record the sessions to let you guys hear it, so um, if you when they start coming out. If you can let us know what you thought of them, it would be great just so we can have some feedback. Um, but what I wanted to do is the GM of the actual session, I wanted to go through um, how I'm preparing for it and also to show you why I'm so in love with the Staples Arc system, which are these discs for binding together your notepads. And they're really simple, little discs like that. Let's see if you can get out the focus. There you go, little disc with a ridge on so that they uh, hold the paper. But let me show you what it looks like in the actual book. Okay, so this is my folder that I'm going to use for the Dragon Age uh, RPG sessions. I'm also going to have a set of non-permanent uh, markers for writing on uh, laminated sheets that I've created. Um, the first thing we have is we have the character sheets for all four characters. These have been laminated and I've written on them in the non-permanent pen so that I can actually wipe them off when we level up. And actually rewriting them makes me go through the actual character sheets to see what the guys have. Um, I pretty much know what's there. Um, and as the, a GM, it's nice to go through your character sheets from the session to see what they're actually changing and things. So that's the first thing. In this pocket at the front, I have initiative trackers whoops, for the characters. So when we start a combat, um, these are put in place and then any bad guys we have get put into the actual initiative order and then we just work from the top down so we know who's going when. The next section is a zipped pocket which will contain any tokens I will be using for the session. In here I have two types of tokens. I have round character tokens, these were from an old D&D set I had, and some acrylic uh, scroll tokens which came from um, the Dungeons and Dragons um, DM box from Gale Force 9, which was really nice tokens. They're um, acrylic, so they've got like a plastic sheen on the top. And you can use the non-permanent pen to write a number on them, so you can number the actual creatures. So these will be the characters. So say we had three player characters and they were being attacked by four wolves. We'll just have these numbered one, two, three, four. And we will actually then assign which uh, monster would be attacking which character. Um, this is mainly for me as a DM to keep track of where characters are in relation to different creatures because we will be doing this through narrative, not actually with miniatures like with Dungeons and Dragons. I've done the Dungeons and Dragons miniature thing, just going from place to place, carrying it is a real pain in the ass. So what we decided to do, I'm going to go very um, descriptive on the actual locations, talk through what's happening and then assign the creatures to the characters um, because we're also we're going to be recording these I thought it would be better to um, be descriptive as if we were just moving miniatures around it wouldn't be much fun so that's the actual tokens I'll be using for the session underneath the uh, tokens we have the two different maps for the session um, they contain two of each so we have a smaller one for myself so I can actually read it but if the guys want to discuss something, there is a bigger version that they can have in front of them. And I have the small version and the large version of both the maps that came with the set. So that's the small Ferelden one, and then the larger continent one with Ferelden on it. The next bit of my folder is some plastic sheets. Um, these are like the tabbed um, plastic sheets that you can buy for the arc system except I've hole punched these one on the side now you can get the hole punch from um, staples there it is very nice big meteor hole punch for about 25 pounds um, so I bought it because I wanted to see what could I could actually do with this uh, system but what this means is that you can take things out really easy and I also have a set of the smaller discs which I will use to put along the edge of these ones here. 
and I'll come back when I've put these on. Okay, so I've attached the um, discs to the edge of the plastic sheet, and there's three plastic sheets. And then what I'm going to do is attach this one to this one as well, like so. And I'm going to do the same along this edge here. So there you go. So there's rings now on two edges. I'm going to attach this one as well. And what we have then is a DM screen for the session. But the great thing is because we're using the disks, what we can do um, inside my folder, I have the sheets for the DM screen, which I can pop into place. Like so. Now this means that I can use any um, tables that I print myself and have laminated and hole punched, so I can put those onto uh, the DM screen. Or if they ha ever have an errata for the screen, I can just print out a new sheet, laminate it, and stick it in. So there we go. I have all four, all three pages of the um, DM screen in place. What I can also do as well if you want to be really fancy is you can actually print out the picture that goes on the other side like this so here we go we have the side here that will face the guys on the opposite side we have the screens so it just stands up like so it's a bit flimsy but it's perfect for what i need and you can also if you wanted to write notes in the um, non-permanent pen on the back side of this one because these actually flip when you're um playing the game um, also the great thing for these is if you've got because you've got the discs and they're all set the same distance if you've got a creature that you need to keep track of you could pop these in here and if you have any notes for the actual monster as well you can write it down on the back so this dm screen is absolutely perfect because it all fits in the folder the only thing you have are these discs which go into your dice bag so that comes in really handy and because they're discs as well, as you can see, I've put the, all the sheets back in, but it's really easy just to pop them back into the book, which makes transporting it ever so much easier. Also, because the screen or the screen could be independent, if I wanted to use it for, the, say, the Doctor Who RPG or for any other RPG, as long as I have the print types to put on the front, I can put them on. So as you can see, the plastics all back in. The pictures for the front are back in as well, and so are the sheets. The next thing I have is a set of action sheets because you have the um, major minor actions you can do inside the RPG, any of the stunts as well, um, and also a, a laminated graph page to track damage to creatures or any effects because it's, it just saves on paper really, you can just wipe it clean afterwards. Next, I have notes about the adventure that we're going to be running, and then also character generation, which we've already gone through for the guys, and then some blank paper. Handy for making notes on plot points or anything. Um, the next thing I have here on the, under the first tab, I have the player's guide, and this is where um, the arc system came in very handy. Um, things like when we wanted to do weapons, the guys needed to know about weapons and um, armor. What I can actually do is just take the sheet out, pass it to the guys. They can have a look at it when it comes back in. Just pop it back into the book. Easy. Next section is the Games Master Guide. Very handy. Um, but I also have a ruler tab up here, which will take me to where I am in the adventure. 
turn in over the adventure you can see what I've got is the very first encounter for these guys um, I have the creature reference sheet in place in the adventure I also have the initiative tracker so these are really handy if I'm you don't have to look for the creature anywhere they're there right slap bang in the middle of the adventure ready to be taken out and ready to be run and I've gone through and done that with all the non-player characters um, any uh, people that they're going to meet are all actually inside the book ready to come out the next tab is the paper character sheets so when we're leveling up the guys can write them down on the um, sheets and then they when they give them back i'll transfer them over to the lamentated ones at the front um and of course a pen so that's what's in my um dragon age rpg book it's really simple system so it works really well for this one i'm currently setting one up for um doctor who in a nice blue color so that's how i'm prepping for the rpg session so there you have it that's how i'm preparing for the roleplay session that we're going to be recording um, as I said, if you have any comments, please let us know. Um, you can contact me through mike at drunkengoblin.co.uk or uh, if you just want to leave a comment below, please, that would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you want to subscribe, that would be awesome. Okay, thanks ever so much for listening and catch you next time.